wild. Today has been a really crazy day. Um, but I'm coming to you today with another video to give you an update on my um, um, TCC journey. I just recently got a positive pregnancy test. And I just wanted to come to you guys um, and give you an update on um, symptoms that I was feeling before I got my positive. Um, but what I wanted to say, like us women who um, survive and overcome PCOS and finally end up getting what we waited so long for, um, just that mentality sometimes can really, really drive you crazy. So I have gotten positive tests after positive tests after positive tests. I probably spent a total of $80 just testing to make sure the lines are not fading or disappearing. Um, I'm going to try to show you guys um, this recent one that I just took. I'm sorry if I look a little crazy. I've been like feeling this pregnancy and I know it's early but I'm, I swear I've been feeling it. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that. Just trying to make it so you can. Let me just. There we go. I think you guys can see that. I'll insert a picture too. Um, but this was one of the one of the newest ones that I took today. Um, I didn't even take it in the morning. They say, oh, you have to hold your urine and take it early in the morning so it can be more concentrated. Um, I did not take this in the morning. I literally took it a couple of minutes ago, and it is currently 6.47 um, in the evening. I, to be honest with you, I actually actually did not have any luck taking my pregnancy test in the morning because I would get fainter lines in the morning than I would get in the evening. So everybody's different. Um, I think that lifestyle has a lot to do with it because I'm the person who um, I will drink loads and loads and loads and loads of water at night right before I go to bed and throughout the day I really don't drink that much water and I know that's a bad thing I don't need nobody judging me um to each his own don't judge me <laughs> but um so uh, I need to drink more water but you know I don't drink as much as I should throughout the day I drink a lot of water but not throughout the day so I wanted to come to you and give you guys a synopsis of my symptoms before I got my positive pregnancy test um, with PCOS. So we had the IUI and that was done Friday the 27th of September. Um, all my follicles were on my left side. If you watch my other videos, you can go to my other videos and I explained that um, a lot more. I don't want to like go through it again in this video because that's not what this video is about this video is about symptoms and I just wanted to give you guys um, an example of some of the symptoms that I had just in case you guys are in your two-week wait and might um, be having symptoms now the thing with me is that I did not want a symptom spot I did not want a symptom spot but at the same time I wrote down each and everything that I felt because you know looking at this I don't know try to I know it's bright looking at this now tells me that those symptoms were real um so it's important to kind of like be that be beacon of light for other women who are also going through that two-week wait and are suffering from PCOS and other endocrine system issues um while they work on fixing their health and I just want to be that beacon of light um, if, if possible to women who are going through that. So rant over. So my first, my very, very first symptom, um, I know that a lot of women say this, a lot of women say that when they got their BFP, they experienced this. Um, and it always annoyed me <laughs> to hear women say, oh yeah, when, um, before I got my BFP, I experienced a really bad cold. Because in my head, I'm just like, stop. <laughs> stop. Just stop. Because everybody gets a cold. The weather could change. Um, anything anything can happen. The reason why you're, you're having a cold. So, I, you know, I never really looked at that as a symptom until it happened to me. Now, I'm going to tell you guys one thing. In, in my house, 
If you go watch my previous videos, you'll see we eat organic in my house. We eat straight organic because I basically had no choice but to eat organic ever since I started suffering from um, the endocrine disruption and the, en the endocrine disruptive symptoms because, you know, I didn't want to do anything that was going to make it worse. So I really started to focus on my diet and I started to do my best to eat right. I was only shopping at health food stores. I was spending so much money just trying my best to eat right. And it did play, I believe that it played a major role in the outcome this outcome because this is my first IUI and it was very successful very successful all the way through um so you know I in that, in that time span of me trying to reach that goal I was eating so clean and so healthy and just doing everything that I could to ensure that my body was being nourished correctly um but that was a symptom like I was sick I was so sick my nose was stuff it was running I was like so much congestion and I just did not feel well and I just laid in bed and I just really didn't feel well um and my husband was just like okay this is weird you never get sick I'm just like I know I never get sick I don't know what's wrong with me <laughs> so um yeah um it turned out that it was a symptom I you know a pregnancy symptom for me so that does and can happen to some women. If you end up getting sick during that two-week wait, maybe it's a good sign for you. I don't know. I'm not a doctor, but for me, it was. It turned out to be a good sign. Another thing that was happening um, before I got my positive pregnancy test was I was getting a lot of nosebleeds. Um, a lot of them. And I was just told that it has a lot to do with those hormones changing and fluctuating. And things like that so I was getting a lot of a lot of nosebleeds and um, uh, I later found out that that was a symptom um, after doing a little bit of research um, another thing that happened was um, when I would floss my teeth my gums would bleed let me tell you guys something I floss my teeth every day I've been flossing my teeth every day for the past years and I never really experienced that problem until now. So experiencing my gums bleeding because of flossing, I'm, I was just like, okay, it's, it's too much going on right now. All of this is not a coincidence and I know that it means something. This has to mean something. Because, um, you know, I kind of felt like I was living in some kind of twilight zone and having all these new things happen to me. But I can't complain and say that it's this and say that it's that because I might end up looking stupid when it's not what I thought it was. Or it's not a symptom like I thought it was. But yeah, that for some women that is a symptom. Like having your gums bleed when you when you floss for some women, that is that can be a symptom. So what else? Another thing that was happening was that I was extremely emotional. Like I am not an emotional girl. I'm telling you guys, I'm not an emotional girl. It takes a lot to get me upset. It takes a lot to get me to cry. It takes a lot to like I'm not emotional at all during before I got my positive pregnancy test I was breaking down over the smallest little things I'm in school right now and I seen a grade that the a professor gave me and I broke down in tears like I literally broke down crying I was just so stressed out and I like just tears just streaming down my face all because of a grade and I'm just like <laughs> I wrote it down like I wrote it down and I'm just like this is not me who is this woman like give me me back because this is not me <laughs> so um that that turned out to be a symptom for me um and that happened more than once I broke down crying just constantly broke down crying on multiple occasions about things that made no sense like I was cooking something and it came out wrong or it didn't come out for me like I usually make it. And I bust out crying because I'm just like, this doesn't taste the same. This is not how it normally tastes. <laughs> and it was like looking back on back on it in hindsight, it, it was really, really, it was a really stupid reason to like break down crying. But it makes sense now after getting this positive pregnancy test. It makes sense to me why I ended up doing it that ended up happening so another another symptom was being overly emotional um i'm trying to think what other symptoms that i have so i had a lot of activity in the region 
Um, I'm gonna go ahead and stop this video and make a part two for you guys because I'm running past 10 minutes. So um, definitely go to part two.